Hello and welcome to the 50 Cent Tour of Tuesday, April 9th, 2013. Please quickly find a seat on the Liberty Bus and we will begin our tour. We have a lot of sites to visit this morning and I won't comment much on most of them. I, there are so many that I will even have some links in the notes that aren't on the tour because there's just a lot going on. David Icke, Margaret Thatcher's Pedophile Politics. Just wanted to just introduce this. I mentioned something about this yesterday. I'm not saying anything absolutely that she was evil, but David Icke certainly seems to believe that she was. Facebook tries to recreate AOL. I was not surprised to see this blog because I've had this very same thought. You know, when the internet was new, uh, the e one of the easiest ways to get connected was an AOL dial-up account. And that was cool. But then it was like, no, I want to be on the real internet. Not, not this little, you know, it was like a playpen. Uh, and the real internet was, you know, like walking down the street. So I hope we can be aware of this and resist it. Breaking Air Force Chemtrail Manual available for download. And the PDF is there. I uh, actually did download it. You might have to insist a little bit. I The first click didn't work, but after a few minutes, it, it, maybe the page wasn't fully loaded. More on chemtrails. From chemtrails to pseudo-life, the dark agenda of synthetic biology. This is an hour-long video. I listened to about the first 20 minutes of it, and I read the notes. I, I do intend to watch the rest. It seems like the lady has reached some reasonable conclusions, and it's, it's time to make it stop. 14 ways to cleanse the body from chemtrails, GMOs, fluoridated water, and other environmental toxins. Just some suggestions here. General Boykin and 700 special op officers demand to speak with Benghazi survivors and special committee. I'm not sure where this will lead, but we, we just so need things to change in this country, whether it's Nasara, something else. Uh, we just, th these the evil has to stop, and if it can be pursued within the context of the de facto government, what, what is there now, as opposed to what is supposed to be there by the Constitution, if we can at least start where we are and work our way toward the Constitution, that's okay with me, although I certainly would love to see Nasara have one day where everything changes and it's in the news, but I dream. Could happen. John Rappaport, Mind Control, The Shell Game, and The Stealth Gods. Yesterday I talked a little bit about Christianity and how a lot of people in the liberty movement seem to want to really shut Christianity down. There's just so much pressure in the liberty movement, so much disinfo, and we all, I think, need to be very careful so that we stay on a good track and in the context of it just within this art this blog some a lot caught my eye I recommend reading the whole thing although it's long but in light of what I shared yesterday about about Christianity being under attack I, I this caught my eye collectivism is all about replacing I with we whatever contributes to that infernal substitution will receive support. Starting in the early 1960s, the spiritual component of collectivism was drawn into the West from ancient Asian practices, distorted selectively and redesigned to produce a picture of enlightenment in which the individual soul would ascend to universal homogeneous consciousness, the one vaporized into the all. And I know that starting out People like Heather and the other people in OPPT are not, they're, they're not sacrificing, they're not vaporizing 
uh, individuals for the group at the surface in the beginning. But I, I just, I see it in the whole uh, opposition to duality and insisting that everything is one. Uh, there's a certain collectivist idea there. And if you're there, cool. I, I am not there, and I am not planning to go there. I want to keep my individuality. I was created in the image of God. And that's personal and that's individual. Although we all we all were we we were as individuals. We are individuals. Just my thoughts. The secrets of Princeton, the meritocracy as we know it, mostly works to perpetuate the existing upper class. Why am I not surprised by that? Every elite seeks its own perpetuation, of course. So, this is what we're struggling against. And they use all sorts of methods to do it. Legalized but not moral government crime, coffer school, schools and lottery. There's a lot of information here. This is designed to help people understand what is going on in their own communities. Download the coffer from the district's website here so that you may follow along. You, you download the coffer from that specific place and then you watch the YouTube video. And you can learn how to determine this in your, in your own school district, home, state, whatever. And I have the link to the video in the notes. Too. And of course it's here. You can find it here and click on it. Along that same idea, just government favoring certain things and, and stacking the deck, rigging the game, Alabama defines favored industries in the corporate state. If you want to get special privileges and crony handouts in Alabama, you need to have a company in one of these industries. And it lists the industries. How do they justify that? I'm guessing, you know, these people just have the influence, the power. Once again, it's the elite preserving their territory. And the old paradigm is collapsing. Will humanity take responsibility and reclaim its birthrights? If you want to ask why things are the way they are, here's an answer. One of the main reasons why humanity has suffered for so long is because we do not want to take responsibility for our education, beliefs, and future. Instead, we allow our authorities to educate us on how to think, behave, and what to believe. True freedom can only be achieved when we become more responsible and stop allowing authorities to make important personal decisions for us. As the book of Revelation, as Jesus said, is quoted in the book of Revelation, and as Bob Dylan sang, when you gonna wake up and strengthen the things that remain. It's, it's us, you know. People choose the life that they want to live. What we say we want is one thing, but what we choose, we express by how we live. So, you want to be a slave? You want to not have to make any hard decisions? Huh? That's your choice. I hope that's not what you choose, because you're making damn hard on the rest of us. Here's a little good news to end with. I should say with which to end. Syngenta charged for covering up livestock deaths from GM corn. Ah, that's good news. And here we do have some various links that can help people understand 
the mass poisoning of us all under the false label of science. And there is information on Syngenta being charged. So, on that better news note, I'm still hoping that you will accept more responsibility. And I'm hoping that I will accept more responsibility and that together we will become more free. She who will walk in the dark is glad of company on this journey on some of these dark days and reminds all of us that the dawn is coming. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hoping that you will love one another, take care, and insist on liberty.